Hi, this is Brian Prince, Principal Cloud Evangelist for Microsoft, and we're going to talk about the new sign-up experience for Windows Azure today. It just released uh, last Tuesday. So uh, you come to the new uh, web page for Windows Azure, windowsazure.com. You'll have a lot of information here. You can drive into pricing, uh, developer tools, and, and training kits, and even uh, the community where you can get some forum and support and so on. Again, we're going to focus on the free trial, so we're going to show you how to sign up for that. So just in the top right-hand corner, there will always be a link called free trial. We're going to go ahead and start with that. Now, you're going to need a, a live ID to sign in. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, click the Sign Up Now button. There's other information on that page. And you can see that I have a, a live ID already called Windows Azure Sign Up Test at live.com. So let me just type in the password here. Great, and you can see that the sign up process is, is much simpler than it used to be. It used to be a little complicated, uh, but we've worked hard to make it as simple as possible. Now it's, it's really three simple steps. Uh, and on this first page, it's going to show you what you're really going to get. So on the left, you're going to get uh, each month for three months for the part of the free trial, you get 750 small compute hours. So uh, a small compute hour is basically the equivalent of running one of our small instance servers for one hour. And a small instance server has about, uh, well, it's one CPU with about two gigs of RAM. And that's, uh, those are the right size for running most web applications. So you might run two of those if you want uh, the SLA to kick in and, and so on. Now, uh, those are equivalent hours, so you could run smaller instances or bigger instances, but you'll be able to burn up to 750 small hours a month. Now storage, storage includes blobs, queues, and tables. And you can have up to 20 gigs across all of that uh, per month and up to 50,000 transactions per month. And a, and a transaction here isn't like a, a database transaction. This is basically every time you read or write a file or a message into that storage system. And then you will get a one gig uh, database in SQL Azure, just big enough to try it out, play with it, see if your data is going to work, find out how you're going to do backups and that sort of thing. And then data transfers, the data into and out from our data centers. Uh, inbound data is always free. Uh, data within our data center is always free. And so you really only have to worry about the outbound data from the data center back to your users. And we give you 20 gigs of outbound data free per month. Now you will need two things. You'll need a mobile phone so that we can send you a text message to verify that you're a real human being. And uh, kind of like a CAPTCHA thing. And then you'll need a credit card. And, you will not be charged on this credit card. This is to prove that you're over 18 to try to help avoid fraud and, and things like that. Uh, by default, your spending cap will be turned on. So no matter uh, what you use, when you hit that, these limits in the free trial, we'll stop everything and you won't get charged at all. So this is truly free. This isn't free unless you shut everything off, um, free or go over. Now, if you want to go over because you're going to use it and, and keep using Windows Azure and you want people to come to your website and that sort of thing, then you can turn off that spending cap, and then any amount that you do go over uh, will be charged to that credit card. So we'll just hit the arrow to go next, very Metro-like style. And we have to start with uh, the phone that we want to send the text message to. So I'm just going to type in my phone number here, and, and I'll blur it out. And we have to wait a second for that text message to come in. Wow, that came in very quickly this time. So I will pick up my Windows phone and uh, type in the code. So 82... Five four eight four. Verify that code. Yes, you are indeed a human being. I'm glad. Just a little worried there for a sec. And then we're going to get to our payment information screen. I'm going to have to blur a lot of this out. But basically, I'm going to have to put in my credit card information number. And again, we will not charge you unless you choose to go over uh, the spending limit. So let me type in uh, this boring information here. And put in my billing address. The phone number, uh, your account information, uh, we will pick up from your live ID automatically. And then you have to uh, read the terms and conditions and so on. I suggest you do that, of course. Check that, hit next. Now we'll start provisioning uh, your cloud space. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is check that the credit card is valid, uh, that we can use it and all of those sort of things. And then set up your account, provision our resources for you and that sort of thing. And bam, we're there. So. Uh, they're going to show you a bunch of uh, information here that you can get started. And if you just click on this Manage link up here, we'll go straight to the, the portal uh, 
uh, to get going. Uh, we have launched a new portal, and you can choose the new one or the old one. Of course, we want to use the new one. So anytime you want to come back and, and use Windows Azure, you would just come to windows.azure.com, log in with the Live ID that you created the account under, the subscription under, and, and you'll have access to your resources. Now, of course, you'll need SDKs and tools and so on. You can get that from windowsazure.com under the Develop tab, whether you're on .NET, Python, uh, Java, Node.js. We just had a bunch of support for features come up for Node.js. Uh, all of those different platforms, we have tools uh, for you to use. So here it's, it's loading in. It's, I don't have anything running in the subscription because I just created it. But uh, here's where I could go and, and create uh, deploy code, uh, uh, create storage accounts or database service, and, and, and so on. So that's this is the portal. And one thing I want to call out for you up here is billing. Now, there won't be any information here yet. The billing portal has been overhauled as well, so that you'll be able to uh, see uh, in near real time what you're getting uh, for charges uh, and be able to work with that data so you have much better insight into what's really going on uh, with your subscription from a payment perspective. Now again, uh, you can see here your free trial expires in 90 days. Uh, at that point, we might you might want to upgrade and add a subscription, so to speak. And we also have uh, packages where you can commit to um, sometimes, so if you know you're going to use a 10 gig database for the next year, if you commit to it ahead of time, you'll get a big discount on that. But that's it. That's how easy it is to sign up and use Windows Azure. Well, thanks for watching. Again, this is Brian Prince, Principal Cloud Evangelist with Microsoft. Feel free to contact me through my blog or Twitter or even email. I'm always happy to help out where I can. And I have some links for you. Uh, the first is so you can go download the SDK. Very easy to do. And we have SDKs for pretty much every platform out there. So aka.ms slash Azure VP. And even when you do that, you need an account and you can get a free trial account, 90 days, uh, no charge, no cost to you. Go to aka.ms slash Azure Trial BP. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.